So it's a very different place that we are here today. I'm actually at uh, Milan Central Station. You can see the beautiful um, architecture of this old building. That's where the trains go when we are heading to our next stop. So, not a very uh, heavy fountain pen uh, video, but just showing you how I, I'm traveling today. Basically, I'm still using my Lelite Smart Fit uh, case down here. In terms of actual fountain pens which I'm bringing, I'm only bringing just one, like the last time. Um, not going to be doing a lot of writing. Uh, as a backup, I just normally just bring a, a ballpoint pen. It kind of works with kind of paper, which is not that great. Um, I upgraded my notebook with kind of a little bit more stretchy, um, a little string down here, and I'll, I also. As you saw just now, I think the lights just went out in the station. Um, I'm using just kind of a stretchy thing to kind of uh, protect the, the case a little bit. And what I'm writing in my journals is mostly just train itineraries and so on, right? So not very, very heavy type writing. Like for example, today, I am headed to, um, I'm currently, what day is it today? Um, not quite sure, but we are, I think it's the, I'm not quite sure what day it is, but it's uh, basically we are going from Milan, and I'm going to a little town called, and I'm not sure whether I'm spelling all this correctly, and then after that I'm headed to um, Switzerland, a place called Ku, and basically uh, I'm going to be going on a train. The train is at uh, 9 10, and basically, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll reach my eventual destination at a certain time, which I'll kind of fill in the details. In terms of the actual pen, I am using my and I'm using my phone camera, so it's not the best. Uh, probably can't focus today, but basically this is the Pilot um, Custom Heritage. Line 12. And I think it's uh, not the perfect travel pen, but basically it does the job. I've, I've brought cartridges like I always do when traveling because I feel that cartridges are a little bit more uh, safe, right? Basically, they are a lot more secure when you insert it into the, into the pen. And basically, this nib size is kind of okay, just kind of not quite too thick, not quite too uh, fine, and basically, it, it, it writes a good line. So basically, like I mentioned, that's how I travel. Not doing a lot of writing. All I want is actually to have a nice, uh, nice nib performance, and I'm just using a cartridge, like I mentioned earlier on. I fill it up to the brim, and I normally have like a few spare cartridges which I store in the back of my uh, the little Lelite Smart Smart Fit down here, and I normally put it back here with some cables and things like that so it's a very short video um, hope you like a little bit of uh, the feeling of Milan and traveling in the railway station um, we'll be back with normal service soon I hope uh, meanwhile um, hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one so I've always wondered on pen performance in Fountain pen performance in very very cold weather. So I'm I'm currently at the bus station here in a town called Valenzona. In, sorry about that in uh, Switzerland. 
and this is my my custom 912 which I've been it's been out in the in the like probably minus one degrees Celsius for a while just want to show you whether or not how the ink was flowing and so on so basically as you can tell the pen still works fine So I mean, I, it's only been about 5 minutes plus, so I mean, I'm not sure whether or not if you leave this pen for very long, whether or not the ink would freeze, but from what I can tell, it's still, still okay. I don't see any slowing of the ink or anything like that. Um, so while I'm waiting for my bus, just wanted to go through for myself what are some of the considerations. Um, I have when traveling with a fountain pen and going with nib size I think fine would possibly be the best choice for me uh, although I think I can I can kind of stretch it to medium especially for a small notebook like this um, I think fine is probably ideal or, or in terms of the pen size um, I don't think I'd be comfortable with a small pen like a Kaweco Sport or something like that. So I mean, I'll still stick with a non-pocket pen for traveling. But again, that's just me. I mean, um, you might prefer something smaller. In terms of the filling system, like I mentioned earlier on, um, I think a cartridge converter would probably be my preferred option still. Just for the pure ease of having a cartridge for on the ready without needing any ink supplies uh, in case I run out of ink and so speaking about ink um, I've always been a blue black guy and I think blue black works well for travel if you're filling out forms or anything like that you know you could just use blue black uh, it's a very readable ink for example right now I'm using Shinkai um, I mentioned a little bit about ink performance and whether or not the ink would actually freeze. Like I said, I just left this pen outside for a while and that seems to be working fine. The last thing I wanted to mention was notebook size and this uh, notebook by MD Paper is actually the in, the in the size of B6 Slim. And I think it would work for short notes like these but not for very much more than that um, and it, of course it depends on the size of your writing I don't have very big writing or very small writing but uh, I think B6 would work if, you're, if your writing is kind of in the, in the middle otherwise I think A5 could be okay or it might be a little bit big actually I mean just to give you a comparison of the size of the notebook that's the size of my hand um, so I, ho I hope you like this series of traveling with a fountain pen this time in rather cold weather um, as I mentioned earlier on I'm actually in kind of a kind of a mountainous area here in Switzerland so I will I will come back um, shortly with some of my uh, regular content but for now uh, ciao, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.